Mr. President, Excellencies, once again I would like to say thank you very much. Our dialogue, our four-eyed meeting has been very fruitful. It is quite clear that we see things in the same way, in particular with regard to the problem of Palestine, for example. We have the same stand, and I think it is important. <coughs> it is important for us to show to the world that uh, Malaysia and Turkey has the same view of the problem faced by Palestine. I believe that until the reasons for the terrorism are recognized and treated and handled, we will not and we will not have any end to the kind of terrorism we are seeing today. Terrorism is due to dissatisfaction on the part of people or countries with what they are being oppressed with. If we can identify the causes, I'm quite sure that we will be able to reduce terrorism. Terrorism cannot be fought solely with military means. Malaysia had this experience at the beginning of her independence. We had a terrorist group which wanted to overthrow the independent government and establish a, a communist state. But we dealt with that problem, not just through military uh, actions, but also by understanding, by winning the hearts and minds of the people. And after that, they decided that it was not worthwhile to fight against the government. Rather, it would be much more fruitful to work with the government. The Muslim world today is in a state of turmoil. I think at this moment, nothing really substantial is being done to, to tackle this problem. But I believe that after a discussion with uh, President Odwan, we would be able to work together to find out one, 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 one way or another how to dis deal with this problem. There was once a great Muslim civilization. Uh, today, of course, we cannot claim to be a great civilization. We are all oppressed and many of us are very backward to the point of not even being able to set up governments for our country. We have to find out why was there this decline and fall of the Muslim civilization. If we can find the reason, maybe we will then be able to prescribe the correct remedy and resuscitate the Islamic civilization which at one time amazed the whole world. So this working together between Malaysia and Turkey and also Pakistan, we would be able to put our minds together and our assets together so as to tackle this problem and help resuscitate the great Islamic civilization that once was. I would like to say thank you to the government of Turkey once again and to Mr. Prime Minister, Mr. President for this kind reception and uh, for displaying the uh, capacity of Turkey in the defense field. So I uh, thank you very much for the award. Thank you. Merhaba. Uh, just now you mentioned about how the Ummah is being downtrodden and you also mentioned a lot of discussions about how um, Malaysia and Turkey are going to uh, work around on this problem. So Tun uh, and President Erdogan, both of you, considering that both of you are vocal uh, leaders uh, in the Muslim world that are being uh, looked up to by a lot of countries, will we see 
um, Malaysia and Turkey bending together to offer some sort of leadership towards the Muslim world, considering uh, the apparent silence of Muslim world when it comes to, for example, uh, uh, public oppression of Muslim minorities in China, the Uyghurs, for example. So will we see more concrete, more forceful uh, statement led, offered by Malaysia and Turkey? Thank you very much. Well, statements are easy to make, but to have an effective uh, action is far more important. That is why I propose that uh, three countries, three Muslim countries, should work together and, and, and strengthen the Muslim countries, at least these three, so that we can speak with a loud, louder voice backed by our own capacities in terms of uh, many areas, like defence, for example. Efendim ortak basın toplantısı burada sona er ermiştir. Katılımlarınız için bir kez daha teşekkür ediyoruz.